In this video, I'll be comparing some of the most famous AOSP ROMs in terms of PUBG performance, daily life, and battery drain and stuff like that. And I'll be showing you some FPS graphs and lastly, telling you guys which ROM you guys should try out first on your Redmi K20 Pro. Okay, so guys, uh, this is a comparison between Havoc OS, Evolution X, and Extended UI. And all these three ROMs were fully stocked and on their latest versions as of recording this video. But before we start, please make sure you like and subscribe because it was a lot of effort gathering all the data for this video while keeping the variables, all the other variables constant, especially because it's really hot right now in Delhi. But anyway, I hope you subscribe, so let's get started. In terms of real world performance, they're almost the same, however, extended UI did feel quite a bit smoother than the other two. So I guess they're not the same. The other two are the same, but extended UI is uh, quite a bit smoother than the other two. I'm guessing that's due to better optimizations and stuff like that. And when it comes to battery life, there's no winner or loser here. And that's quite surprising because one of them is OSS based and that's extended UI. But anyway, there's no winner or loser here. You're looking at around nine to 10 hours of screen on time on each of them. And that's actually really, really good. So if your choice is purely based on a battery life, you shouldn't go wrong with any of them. One important thing I don't see a lot of reviewers talk about is haptics and this is where Evox shines or Evolution X shines because it has the best haptics and the most precise haptics and while the other two aren't far behind the Google keyboard space by vibration is uh, missing from extended UI and I'm talking about this vibration as you move, move across the cursor by holding the space bar and then dragging left or right it vibrates each uh, like across each word and then it's like it's really a good haptic and if you know about it let's just put it this way if you know about this vibration and care about it then uh, then it might be an issue for you and if you don't just forget it you won't notice it and guys fingerprint unlock speeds are one of the most important things for custom roms for our beloved redmi k20 pro and i'm happy to report that they're really good on all these three however extended ui is just more consistent and it's faster and it's just overall better than the other two roms it's just more consistent and like it gives you an overall better experience. All right guys, in terms of uh, battery idle, it's almost the same on all these three ROMs at around 0.3% per hour. And if you have a high, and if yours is higher, just clean flash and reinstall the ROM and wipe your internal storage. And then if it's still high, just turn off GPS and stuff like that. But it should be around 0.3 to 0.5% per hour. And if it's that, it's really, really good. And now comes the most interesting part the PUBG performance. What I did was set it to smooth and extreme and played for one hour straight on all these three ROMs and recorded the FPS into graph and the battery life. And here's what I found. So now I've numbered the graphs one, two, and three. Comment down below which one do you think is which Alrighty, so here are the results. Let me know if you were right in the comment section. First, let me get this clear, the device did not overheat and the temperature was around 40 degrees after after playing for an hour on all these three rounds. It was almost the same. Anyway, as you can see, the average FPS on Evolution X was 57, while on Havoc and Extended UI was 58. And the standard deviation, which is basically how much the FPS maximum dips, dips below 60. So the lower, the better. And Havoc, stick, Havoc takes the lead here. And the not far behind is Extended UI and lastly comes Evolution X. However, as you can see, the dips are least on extended UI and it stays the closest to 60 on average but the difference isn't too huge. What this tells us is basically the performance on all these three ROMs is almost the same for PUBG and also surprisingly after one hour of gameplay the battery drain on all of these three ROMs was exactly 23% so again there's no major difference in terms of battery life too. And guys feature wise while Evolution X and Havoc OS are on top in my opinion extended UI looks the best uh, and that is due to the things like One UI Clock and MIUI Brightness Slider and just the cooler looking uh, QS styles. It also comes with a MIUI uh, like volume panel, which uh, with, uh, with that being said, the other two ROMs are not a bad option. And now, before I jump on to conclusion, let me tell you guys, in Evolution X, because it's an OSS-based ROM, it cannot use the latest, latest version of ANX, which means it uses an older one, and then, because of that, there are two major features missing, and they are basically the maximum you can re record video with ANX is 1080p at 60fps, and also, if you want to take the manual shots, you will have no option for manual shutter speed, and that is a big bummer, 
However, for the video part, you can fix it just by using the latest version of Gcam because they have 4K60 with the IS. So I normally use those for video. However, it does not allow you for manual shutter control. And this is the biggest bummer for evolution or for extended UI. And now conclusion time. Personally, I prefer extended UI just because it is more fluid due to one, much better fingerprint recognition than the other two however that does not mean the other two are bad it just means that this one is way better and also it has like you don't have to do anything a lot you don't have to do a lot to make it look really really good and i would argue that they look better than evolution x and extended ui just because of things that i stated earlier so i would say go for extended ui i would recommend going for extended ui if you're coming specially from ui because this is really, really fluid and that's what mainly makes me stay on it and obviously as i said earlier the fingerprint recognition mission as well so yeah but anyway that's it for this video i'm planning to do a similar video between UI roms and maybe even MIUI and usb roms let me know if you're interested from the poll in the top right corner but uh, yeah if you're still watching thank you please drop a like and this is from mr tech boss signing off